Hey everyone, it's Friday. I'm just going to do a quick review over how to make a bar diagram. So today in math, you were reading word problems and then you were trying to figure out what the equivalent ratio would be. So one of the problems that we had in our notes talked about a school that had 150 students and two out of three of those students preferred gel toothpaste. The question asked, how many students prefer gel? So the new method that we talked today, talked about today was a bar diagram. To make a bar diagram, look at the numbers that you have in your problem. Because it says, let's get a different color here. It said two out of three, my bar needs three boxes. And that's why you see I have three boxes in my bar. The ratio said two out of three, so my bar needed three boxes. Now, I know that there are 150 students total in this school. This whole bar diagram here represents those 150 students. So my job is to figure out what each of the little boxes in the whole bar diagram represent. If I know there are 150 students total, and I know I need to put an even amount of students in each of those boxes, I'm going to try to figure out what 150, which is this, divided by three total boxes is. 150 divided by three is 50. So I'm going to put 50 in each of these boxes Again, this whole entire bar diagram represents the total population of the school, 150. Because I divided it into three parts, I need to figure out how many students goes in to each box. So each box contains 50 students. Let me change colors again here. Back up here, it says two out of three people prefer gel. So I can go back to my diagram, two out of the three prefer gel. See where I'm going with this? So because two prefer gel, I have 50 and 50. 50 plus 50 is 100, okay? How many prefer gel? 100. I got that from here and here. The bar diagram is just one way to figure out equivalent fractions. You do not have to use that. If you would rather just set those up as ratios and figure out how to get from one number to the other, you can do it that way. Go back and review yesterday's video if you want to have a review on how to do that. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on Monday.